I'm Daniel Gross, and this is the number. The number today is 825. That's 825 dollars for a bottle of tequila. It really caught our attention because we do focus on numbers. Brett Hawking, you are the founder of De Leon Tequila. You have brought a bottle of your sort of tequila for the one percent with you today. Yes. Um, what makes this so special and worthy of the price tag? Um, we call this product Leona. We created this a long time ago when we launched the brand, and uh, here it is. Okay, so for $825, you get this nice bottle. You get this flask, yes. which is sheet thin python skin, right, the python. box. Uh, your background is in wine. Yes. And you know, I think for a lot of people, tequila is something you you don't really you're not so concerned about the price. You want to do shots. It's a good time thing. It's something that's not to be savored like a fine wine, but you have a different approach with this. Yeah, you know, we, we wanted to take a different approach to tequila altogether. Uh, tequila is typically a wine lover's spirit, and I tried to tie my background to this, whereas tequila, sometimes there's four allowable chemicals in Mexico that you can use for tequila, which is glycerin, sucrose, oak extract, and caramel. Um, we decided to use none of them and let the tequila age naturally in wine barrels and create the flavors that came from the wines. So we contracted barrels from all <coughs> over the country uh, and all over the world to create different unique flavors. Okay, and so this is not a, clearly it's not a, a product for the masses and it's not a mass produced product. There's a limited number of bottles. Very limited, yes. And they officially go on sale on December 21st, which is the Mayan apocalypse? Yes, we, uh, we did, we did decide to release it on December 21st, which is, as everyone knows, the last day of civilization according to the Mayan calendar. So we wanted to create a little excitement around it. And uh, we have a website called thelastdrink.com where people can go and uh, see what the well, last Well, for, for some people, given the price tag, it could well be their last drink. <laughs> that was kind of the idea. If, if you were going to go out, this is the way to go out in style. And so people can, they can buy this directly from you. Yes. They can get it from distribution, and this will be presumably at bars, nightclubs, etc. It will be everywhere at your local, you know, fine wine and liquor stores, hotels, restaurants, bars, everywhere. And so, how much would people be expecting to, to pay for a shot of this uh, at depends. their corner pub? Uh, you know, each owner of pub can price themselves, but I'd say roughly a little over a hundred dollars a shot. Okay. Now, you know, tequila has a, sort of been in our consciousness generally again as something people throw down and. There's the show Entourage, where sure. the character Turtle was trying to bring in a, a high-end tequila. We are in this kind of great age of connoisseurship and everything from chocolate to wine, every type of food. There are people who are really into this. Is this the next thing? Are we now at a stage where there are a lot of people who are collecting, investing in, savoring tequilas? It's definitely, you know, three years ago there was, or four years ago, there was about 800 tequilas. There's now over 1,600. Uh, that are on the market and tequila has definitely progressed. It's a very refined spirit when done correctly and and it is a connoisseur's market. Okay. Now this is not typically a show where we, we drink alcohol oh, don't go <laughs> during, the, during, during the daytime but you know it's Christmas time is approaching we should make an would exception. Like I would it? like to try All some, right, yes. Well, let's try it. Very good. Alright so that's about 20 bucks right there. Yeah, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Alright so how am Am I, I, I didn't bring my, my salt shaker. Um, how am I supposed to drink this? You know, at De Leon, we don't try to impose any way to drink it. We drink it any way you like. Um, this can be drunk on the rocks, sipped neatly. Um, it's very cognac-esque, okay. uh, and um, just depends on the way you okay. like to drink well, things. I, I'm going to take a sip, and then when the fiscal cliff approaches, <laughs> then we'll start doing shots. So there you go. Well, cheers. Give a shot. Yes, It's quite good. Thank Smooth. You. Thank you. I'm Daniel Gross, and this is The Number. Thanks so much for joining us. Special, yes, limited edition. Limited edition. <laughs>